watching and listening. Today I want to do a video talking about what is inside of this aircraft. So this flight controller that I have in my tiny trainer is the uh, Neutron RC F435 flight controller. And what makes this flight controller unique among others is that it's one of I think it might be the only all in it's the only all in one that I know of that is running the new AT32 uh, MCU. Now most of our flight controllers use the use a STM32 flight controller. However, those have been in high and have been in higher and higher demand, and so we've seen flight controller costs go up as a result. This Neutron RC flight controller with the AT32 chip comes in at $40 and uh, I just want to do a review just going over the specs of this thing and how it performs to hopefully uh, help you guys decide whether or not you, you want to spend $40 on a on one. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the flight controller in question. Now there are a few different versions of this. There's a 45 amp version, a let's see, yeah, two, there's two 45 amp versions, a 55 amp, and a 35 amp. So the 35 amp is the one that I've been using, and it also happens to be the cheapest. Actually, let me go through the prices for you really quick. So the 45 amp AM32 is $51. There's a BL Heli 32 version at 62, and then there's the 55 version. So this AM32 that also is um, is a reference to the, the ESCs in this thing. So pretty much everyone except for this one, uh, like this guy, the the 35 amp AM32, the one I've got. Not only does it have an AT32 uh, uh, MCU in it, but it also uses the uh, AM32 ESC software. And I'll talk more about that here in a little bit. So as you can see, it's an all-in-one. This is the top of it, if it will load. It might not be working because I'm doing a screen recording, but anyway. So this is the, um, this, this is what the bottom looks like. There's a plug here for all of your, um, for any of your HD systems. And in fact, here's a picture of the flight controller being hooked up to a DJI 03 air unit. Now down here, there is all sorts of different uh, product information about this flight controller. There's um, here's just you know just your general uh, board layout, and here are the specs of it. So you've got a BMI 270 uh, gyro in it. Uh, you've got um, five UARTs, so plenty of UARTs on this thing. You got a five volt back. The this does so the so it's, it does support Betaflight on here. Uh, however, the version of Betaflight that this flight controller ships with is uh, is actually a fork of Betaflight. However, as of the recording of this video, Betaflight 4.5 is uh, release candidate is out and that version of AFI does support this hardware, and I highly recommend that you put uh, Betaflight 4.5 on this thing because the performance is humongous. The jump from the forked version to the real version is a huge leap. I'll get into more of that in a little bit. Uh, so here's kind of your default ports. Here's how you do black box. So anyway, I won't go through all of this. You can, this is all on Newbie Drones website, you've got a bunch of different uh, wiring diagrams. Here's some uh, different QR codes you can scan for various different types of information. If you want to upgrade the, uh, the firmware and the, the ESC, I highly recommend you click on this link and just uh, just go through this. You'll need to download this. Uh, you need to put this COM driver on your computer if you're running Windows. And uh, same thing for this. You really need this, this uh, Addery Tech uh, ISP programmer. This is what lets you put 
the plug controller in DFU mode on Windows. I've tried putting this plug controller in DFU mode without this before on my Windows computer, and it just it just wasn't having it. On Mac, you don't really need these things. On Windows, you need you need this, and you need um, this this link and this link right here are pretty much the same thing. But once you have that, let it install. You can then load up uh, uh, beta flight normally on your flight control just like you would any other one. And then as far as how do you update the ESC firmware or how do you edit the ESC firmware, you just use this. If you plug your flight controller into this, you can adjust all of your parameters because this does run AM32 ESCs. That's all I really have to say about the plug controller, but how does it actually fly? So let's talk about how this thing flies. So to give this plug controller a fair comparison, I took the uh, the diff that was on the STM32 plug controller on half of my analog tiny trainer, basically copied that whole configuration and pasted it directly into the uh, Neutron RC flight controller and I gotta say the stock firmware feels like crap everything else about the quads are the exact same they were right around the same weight same motors same uh, same receiver same you know, relatively same camera um, yeah it just it, it, it flew like garbage so I like it can work but it just felt very loose and this is hard to convey on on screen it's kind of something you just have to feel for yourself but yeah, I was not a big fan of how this flight controller flew just on the stock uh, fork beta flight firmware. I mean, it's like you can make it work, but it just doesn't feel locked in, um, all else being equal. However, when I put beta flight 4.5 on this thing, even though it was just a release candidate, this thing was a completely different animal. Uh, the, the tune on these is exactly the same from my analog quad um, running a uh, flight controller that's got a STM32 uh, chip on it. And that one was on yeah, an MP6000 uh, gyro. This one has a BMI 270. Um, I'm not really, I just wanted just to point out that difference. But again, you know, uh, pretty much the same firmware. This thing felt you know, really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, if you get this thing, I highly recommend that you just take off the old, uh, flight controller software and you replace it with just beta flight four out five. It flies so much better. Um, one, actually I take that back. One difference that I do have on this quad as opposed to my STM32 ones that I have the, the dynamic notch filter turned on on the AM32. On the, or uh, sorry, on the AT32 flight controller, whereas the dynamic notch is turned off on the STM. But that was just because the quad was had a lot of weird vibrations when it was on Beta Flight 4.3. So I could actually probably go back and turn that off, but I might not do that anyway, just because this thing flies so good just as is. I took this flight controller right. to a Ready. race, yep. and I flew it uh, that and the my STM32 quad back to back and I was able to get similar lap times with both. Both of them felt, felt you know, pretty much identical. Maybe there's like a 5% difference, maybe even down to like a 3% difference between the two. But it was so easy to switch between the, between, you know, both quads and really wasn't really very jarring. That's something that I'm very sensitive to. So um, even though even though they both have the same I would say the same performance envelope on the track. The AM32 wins for me just because of the cost. Again, like most uh, STM32 flight controllers are like double the price of this thing. So if I can get the same performance of an F4 flight controller at half the cost, which both of the flight controllers that I was testing back and forth were F4s, I wasn't comparing an F7 to an F4, both of them were F4s. One was an F411, this, this one is an F435, and yeah, the Neutron RC wins because it's half the price, yet it offers the same performance. So yeah, if you're looking for a 
um, if you're looking to build like a tiny trainer or a you're just, you're just a micro quad in general and it's not like a 1s whoop then i don't really see any reason why you wouldn't choose this flight controller um it's been really durable it's taken some hard hits and it hasn't exploded on me yet and also by the way this tiny trainer with the with the new 200c flight controller is running without a capacitor i run capacitors on pretty much everything but to really test the durability of this flight controller i decided to run this with no capacitor so just wanted to throw it in there it seems to be holding up very well I don't plan on adding a capacitor anytime soon so um right. like i said if you're looking for uh, uh to build a three inch on and you're trying to save some money then go with this flight controller as of right now as of the recording of this video you can buy this thing at uh, newbiedrone.com if you're living in, in the united states or you can buy it on um like alexi press things how you pronounce that so that's gonna do it for the video thank you very much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one have a nice day